misplay that you did that one time. Oh, that one misplay. Oh, oh dear. Oh, no. All right. Don't let me forget I need to pick up some more sleeves while I'm here. A, support my local game store, support Tapstart Games in Westminster, South Carolina. And B, I have more decks I want to... Wait a second, you already cut. Okay, I have more decks I want to uh, put together at some point. So, need some sleeves. That'll do. Alright, now to see who goes first, before we take a look, I would like to do a die roller. Hey, you got there. Would you like to be on the play? Yeah, I'll yeah, be on the play. Fair enough. Alright, make sure it's seven. Ooh! Uh, okay, um... I think it's better than going to six, so I will keep. Ah, uh, not so. No uh, land. Oh! <laughs> no land, no moxin. All right, now while you're doing that, let me flip the camera around so I can show everybody what's, what's going on over here. This is, a, this is a little tricky. So this is nice, and so are you, and you, and you. So this part, you, you'll notice there's a little bit of an oversaturation. Now I have this maybe to hold down for just a little bit. Just a little bit, because, you know, vintage. All right. And I, I admit, I just realized there may be some instances when we need to use the phone to look up some oracle text on some yep. of these. Y yeah, you know how that goes. Oh well. Older cards, older text. <laughs> you know. Alright, so what do you say? I will keep. Alright. Oh. oh. It doesn't matter. You didn't know this. I will have to fix this when we're done. Those are two different kinds of sleeves. No, no, no. That's fine. But look at this one on the bottom. Oh, okay. 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 It's okay. It's okay. We don't. <laughs> you didn't know. We just put the decks together, trying to throw it all together. Mm -hmm. But we got some uh, some card sleeves mixed up. Oh, I know exactly what those are. In that box, there's some loose sleeves. We, okay. We pulled from the sideboard for this deck yes. instead of pulling from the loose sleeves. It's okay. We'll fix it after this game. Easy fix. All right. So what do you say? You, you, you've already scribed the bottom. All right. So you're up. Mox Emerald. Yeah, all right. Sapphire. Ooh, okay. I like it. Preordain. Preordain's good. Scry to draw. Yeah, we can fix that. No worries. Welcome to the wonderful world of non-tournament magic, where stuff like that is not a big deal. Especially when you don't know that it even happened. Misty? Mm-hmm. Fetch. Oh, dang. I think it started early. Okay. Well, this is going to be fun. I can... Mm, I can feel this going well for me. We're off to a great start in T1 Glistener Elf Land. Now, I don't think that's normally something I would counter if I didn't know what your deck is, so I think I'm going to let that resolve. It, it seems... Uh, it seems risky, but I think it's okay. So, we're cool. We're cool with that. That's right. All right. Especially now that we get to go... We're actually going to play an Emerald first, and then we're going to play a Cataxium Probe. Okay, I see a Mind Sculptor and a Capture, so even if we don't top deck a land, we have a Mind Sculptor coming down. And that's good to know. That's good to know. Well, let's top deck like a boss, please. Okay, so yeah, you, you can... Play revealed or pick up, however. Um, in that case, I would like to play a ruby in two. I would like to play. An underground sea. And then I'll pass the turn. All right. Well, <clears throat> welcome to four color control, I guess. 
Oh man, Owen Turtonwald. I was at, I think it was his first GP that he won. It was GPDC, it was a legacy event. I know he won now, spoiler alert. I don't know if it was his first one that he won. But then he wins the one right after that. I mean, you know where this is going. We're gonna go Force of Will, Pitching Misdirection. I'm at 17. Yeah, I, I guess when I already know, you might as well try it. Hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, well. I will play an Ink Moth Nexus. Pass the turn. Alright, you should have, what, five cards in hand? Three? Wow, oops. What was I thinking? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Misty. Fetch? Okay. Yeah, okay, so I know what's about to happen, because I know what one of those cards is. Alright, time to get started. Time to get started. We may we may take a long commercial. No. No. <laughs> no let's not say we didn't. Alright, alright. Here we go. Okay. It resolves, so you get to take an extra turn. Yeah. I'd like to pass my next turn. Alright, you get to go. Go for it. Well, Play another extra turn. Temporal. Hey, Temporal. Yes, very good. Move on next turn? Yes. So the reason I was wanting to know while you're taking that about the, orat the oracle text is that misdirection lets me redirect a tar uh, spell to me. And in the case of time walk, it's target player it takes an extra turn. So you can do that. Yeah. But I didn't know w for which ones that would necessarily be true. Take an art. Take another one, please. Okay, okay. Mind Sculptor. Yes. Mind Sculptor resolves. I would like to brainstorm. Yes. Yeah, that is exactly the right thing to do here. I guess you could make a case for fate sealing here. Maybe. Like, if you didn't know what this deck does, then maybe you fate seal for information, but you also don't know if you're trying to fate seal, like, what to put down necessarily. Mox Pearl? Pearl resolves. Do it. That would be. Uh, you actually only need yeah. one mana. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Rin's Prodigy resolves. Uh, best turn. Okay. I've got. I have to go now. <laughs> I have to go a while ago. All right. So Jace is at three. I will play an Ink Moth Nexus. Mm -hmm. I will use Ink Moth to animate Ink Moth. Yes. Ink Moth will swing at Mind Sculptor. Yep. Put him to two. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I, no no pump effects. We're just going to put him at two. And... Hmm, I'm not going out of the car to get my dice. Um, would you happen to have any by chance? I do not. I have, a, I have an idea. I have an idea. There are some dice up there next to the... Uh, oh. oh, thank you. To your left? To the left, to the left. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger one. That's Jason the Mind Sculptor. <laughs> that's uh, that's Mister. I'm regularly getting to 13 in a game, but for right now he's just at two. To the left. Okay, Thir <laughs> he's at two. To the left. Um, I would like to pass turn, and in turn stops being a two. Pass turn. I mean, I I know your deck, so I know you're not gonna respond to that. But you know, like respond with fatal push or something. And also no black mana. I mean, Pearl for Swords in the main board of an obviously mono blue deck. Activate his ability. Yes. Draw them to score. Yes. You already know what was on top, so you already know if that was okay to drop. Whee! Now, I have some bad news. Mm. I don't have the other side. But I remember what it does. Do you know what other Jace does? I do not. Wait, 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 I got it too. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Let's, if you don't mind, since my app is already here, we just pull up the card on your phone. Let's not show your pen to every. Okay, we're good. No. Oh my goodness. I've almost done that. There's a, a video where a certain prominent, I'll say it's Cedric Phillips, mm. does that on, on camera. He gets out his phone, puts in his pen, and everyone's like, well, I learned Cedric Phillips' pen. 
doesn't matter unless you have his phone, unless he uses it in other places too. I hope not. Sorry, Seti. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, there, there's a tier list for magic commentary teams for me. Cedric Phillips, Patrick Chapin, that's on top for me. Hmm. Luis Scott Vargas, Gabby Sparts, that's next. Everybody else. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyone else from SCG plus Matthias Hunt is hmm. pretty good. God. I have a video on the t while you're pulling that up and just talking to, to save to buy some time. I mean, uh, I have a video on the channel where Matthias Hunt is, um, is every time he says high tide, the video gets faster. What I really ought to have done is made the video get much, much faster, and much, much more quickly. But because of some software limitations, I couldn't. It was it was Power Director. It did not like to handle times one thousand speed. It didn't like to handle times 200 speed, or anything greater than that, so, uh, or 200%, I mean to say. Though, actually, he could have gotten that times 1,000 speed, depending on what the multiplayer I used is. Because I think he said it 82 times over the course of the video. It was Game 1, High Tide, Feline Longmore versus Lee Prost, and I think I counted him at saying it 82 times. <laughs> saying high tide. It was great. Yeah, the version of it where he's actually sped up, say 5%, is light speed a few minutes into the video. Because, you know, that's how light speed works. Okay. Man? Yeah. Oh no, that's not how this works. Mm -hmm. Can you... Um, save image. Can we open the image and just have that zoomed in? Hey, you're good at that. Okay, okay, there we are. You're right. Open with gallery yeah, just yeah. once. It doesn't matter whatever. Okay. Oh, oh no, 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 no. This way. <laughs> there we go. Hey, we got there. It took us a moment, but we got there. I hope that I remember to put a skip to X. <laughs> <laughs> on the okay, so now there's a Jace Telepath inbound who hasn't had an ability used yet. In before I realize I need to get another die. <laughs> okay. Well, unless you want to flashback something in your graveyard, spoiler alert, you do, then, uh. <laughs> Alright. Well, I don't know. I don't know the rest of what's in your hands, so maybe not. But this game is pretty much over at this point. Pretty much. You haven't used Mind Sculptor yet. You haven't used Telepath yet. Yeah, I'm going to zero Jason Mind Sculptor. Yep, that's that's correct. One more. All right. Well. Oh boy. I'm gonna hope that that audio in the background doesn't hate me for the purpose of YouTube's content <laughs> ID system. I don't think it's loud enough to get picked up too much. <sighs> yeah. Welcome to Vintage. Welcome to Vintage Homebrewing. Neg 3 Jigs. All right. Which, take another turn spell do you want? <laughs> okay, so Temporal Manipulation, good, for four mana. Um, use the Pearl. Okay. Oh wait, no, no his blue blue, okay, yep, yeah, that's the Sapphire. Yeah, so we're good, we're good. Uh, it resolves, so yeah, you'll get another turn after this. Move to my next turn. Yeah, Chris, I don't pretend to understand. All right. We still haven't found another land yet. That admittedly surprises me. I'm still not going to lose. I know... Well, I don't know. Um, plus one, no target. Sure. If I can find the three. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, that one's not a spin down. Sorry about that. Oh, you're good. 
shout outs to Tapstart for donating its dice for the purpose of this <laughs> this obnoxious game. No, it's fine. Zero Jace. Zero Jace is good. At some point, I will say it, at some point you are going to have to start fate sealing me, probably, mm -hmm. because if you're just brainstorming and using telepath, you may actually run out of time lock spells. There are 13 in the deck and a lot of draw spells, but you've got to win at some point. Yeah. And if, if double Ink Moth Nexus weren't obvious enough, I, I do have a, an actual win con in the deck somewhere. Oh my goodness. Snapcaster. Oh god. Okay, the one mana Snapcaster into the four mana... Okay, actually we found a win condition, so... Ig ignore what I just said. You might actually be able to only brainstorm the rest of the game. Yep, it resolves. Maybe Fate Seal if you think you can't find another Time Walk spell, but that's about it. Snapcaster can just get it done from here. If you can go for nine more turns, you got me. Plus one extra? Yes. We will... Okay. Plus one, no target. Yep, fair enough. Come at me, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and Fate Seal you. Here's just my top to make card. Sure. Uh, you can keep it on bottom. On bottom? Yes. Okay. That card worries oh. me because I don't know what you do. Oh. Oh. Oh, I, I, I have to. When the game is over, I need to see. I can't wait for editing. Okay. I need to see. You have me at 15. Divining top. <sighs> top resolves. Man, if I had left an Ink Moth Nexus open instead of using the Summoning Sick Ink Moth to animate Ink Moth. Oh. Yeah, it resolves. Moving to my next turn? Yes. Don't you love this deck? <laughs> oh, I think you actually had one mana open to top in a turn. Maybe. I don't know, maybe not. Okay, so anyway. Anyway. Hey, we got, a, we got there. We got a land. Uh, Jace Brainstorm with a fetch land is... Woo! <laughs> yeah. 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 Brainstorm. Yeah. This is what we like to call Ancestral Recall. <laughs> fetch. Yep. Uh, getting there. No. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> okay, my OCD is gonna kill me. No. <laughs> there we go. I don't actually have OCD. Obviously, I'm, I'm letting the, these not be even. All right. So I'm, I know that I have a text message I probably ought to respond to while you're taking a few turns. But we're gonna, I don't know. I, I'm sorry if it seems like I'm being, in, like, I don't mean to be rude and tell you what oh, no, to do, but I, I really, I really love this. And also it's your first time. He's winning and it's his first time with the deck. <laughs> Mark is a good magic player, as it turns out. All right, we're gonna temporal manipulation. Yes. Okay, seems good. Yep. And then there we go. That's that was good. Kakate koi, come at me, bro. All right. Move my next no, ball. you yeah. don't. Yep. <laughs> You don't, no, you don't even tap it. You don't even tap it, man. You tap it if you want to swap it with your top card, which, of course, that does sometimes come up. Yep. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's that's not good. But especially after you fetched, since mm -hmm. those are three new cards. Are you keeping them in the same order? Yes. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Move to my next turn? Yes. Ah, oh, so close. Man, Patrick Chapin, also a magic player I like, but not as much for being a magic player, though he is a good magic player as far as I've seen, but also for being a rapper. Rapper? Yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> he and the artist formerly known as Spruik mm. um, made Jace the Mind Sculptor better than all, which is my favorite Magic the Gathering song. 
You wouldn't think there's a lot of competition for that, but... <laughs> it's pretty good, huh? It, it, it's pretty good. It's the another song that I sped up. Yes. So the capture is good? Uh, yeah, you're yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, that. it's okay. And even if you didn't have mana, I couldn't do much about the top because you could f flip it on top of your deck. Mm -hmm. um, and if there's a... I don't know. Like, it's it's really hard to play around top. But you <laughs> when you get to sculpt your hand this much. Alright. Plus me, bro. Alright, I'm at nine. On December second, two thousand fourteen. Twenty four Snapcaster? <laughs> Resolves. Target Capture? Alright. Yep. Capture. Capture indeed works. Oh, uh, you actually only need four. Did you? Oh, yeah, you played yeah, the blue for Snapcaster. Yeah, that's right. It's not free. Not yet. Chris and Margaret. He's on turn, I think, six in a row? I think. Yeah, in Vintage. Welcome to Vintage. Uh, like, what turn did he start on? Yeah. <laughs> I think he started on turn one. He oh, going oh. Off on turn one? oh, no, 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 I see what you're saying. Um, that's a good question. Mox Mox Island. Island. He might have started on turn two or three. It was either two or three. Yeah. No, it was, it was, yeah, it was, you yeah. did a, a Mind Sculptor on turn two, so it was yes. turn three when he's, so yeah, he started this on turn three. After his Mind Sculptor got countered. Yes. So he's doing this through a Force of Will. Through a force of will. Through a force of will. This, this seems like a fair format. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, that's fine. And yeah. I'm gonna fight Zoe. This is one of those instances where you probably want to activate Mind Sculptor before Telepath. Yeah. All right. Keep on top. Keep on top? Yes. Well, crap. Activate Sensei's Dividing Cup. Okay. Yeah. I have a feeling I'm getting my next turn, but it's not going to do much. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I'll concede. Okay. I yeah. want to see what my. Oh my god! Show the camera, please. Show the camera. Triple Time Warp in hand. It was Progenitus. Okay, so that's actually right. I, I If you had let me get the Progenitus and another turn, mm -hmm. then you would have needed a Force of Will. Yeah, because yeah, my next turn yeah. would... Whew! Well, that's a, that's a thing. So we're going to fix the sleeves real quick, and then we'll be right back. If she's already turn one blood mooning everyone, <laughs> she knows how to go stomping ground, Simeon Spirit Guide, Simeon Spirit Guide, blood moon. <laughs> Then uh, we'll be in good shape. I, I do kind of wonder what her first deck is going to be. If it's going to be something really, really simple, like mono green stompy, where a lot of the creatures are vanilla, mm -hmm. so you don't have to. Worry. Or if it's going to be, I could see she is T1 Stoneforge Mystic, but that's not a card in modern. Mm -hmm. And I kind of hope it'll never be, but you know. <laughs> but nevertheless, um, I do wonder what hers will be. It, watch it be Ponza. <laughs> Just because. Watch it be Ponza. Just because of that one video. T1 Bloodbraid Elf. I've gotten a turn one Bloodbraid Elf in modern before. It was either Forest or Stomping or Abe's Forest, Simeon, 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 mm -hmm. Bloodbraid Elf, and then it cascaded into Armor Elf. So it, it could have been better, mm -hmm. but if it had cascaded into Bloodbraid Elf, or into Blood Moon. Yeah. Yeah. No, I have cascaded into Blood, Blood Moon, but not on camera, so it doesn't count. If you're a YouTuber, that doesn't count. Unfortunately. If, you're, it's, uh, if it's on camera, it's etched into history. Woo! Okay. We're good. We're keeping. We're super hard keeping this. We're keeping this like you wouldn't believe. <sighs> okay, okay. So, let me show you why. I I like early wins. Okay, so it's it's not that great, but it's it's pretty good. So this you oh, 
if, if we were doing a transformational sideboard, then this is actually an interesting addition. Uh, this is something that I'm getting to run in Vintage, and I have not seen anywhere else, including any other Vintage game. Or Legacy, or... I can't even remember seeing that in EDH, to be honest. So, um, it's a weird card. You can imagine. It's a weird card. What on earth did I just... <laughs> okay, okay, they're both black, they're both black, and admittedly that one's glossy, this one's matte, I should have realized, but I just... I don't know. I was talking. I was <laughs> I was on a roll. I was having a good time. Okay, whatever. There we are, my friend. Welcome to Non-Tournament Magic with T1 Glister Elf. Sponsored by Tapstart Games. And that's the Tapstart Games get dunked on. <laughs> that needs to be a thing. I know Nikachu does his... Uh, his, that's the manabase.com get dunked on moment? What am I? Oh my god, I am so... So I am Mark Goldwater, the head designer for Magic the Gathering. There's my windshield wiper laugh. Okay, so... Right, I'm gonna keep this. Okay, would you like to scry? Yes. All right, my friend, I will go Polluted Delta, Jet, Pearl, Fetch. Mm. Now, I think that I've seen enough of your deck to know that I don't have to worry about Wasteland. So I'm going to get an Underground C, which puts me at 19. I think, watch that be wrong, <laughs> no, no, I, I built your deck, I know, but if I were a player that didn't have that knowledge, I think I could be wrong, because this is vintage and there are a lot of lands you really, really want to hit, like mm. Bazaar, Baghdad, and Mishra's Workshop, but I think, I think I'm safe in this case. I didn't see any lands other than islands, uh, or fetch lands, blue fetch lands, so I think I'm okay. Hi, Rich. Or, no, that, oh, that's Mark Rosewater. Oops. I would like to cast a preordain. Scry two. I will do. Um, you know, I, I kind of like both of these a lot. Like, you have no idea. So we are going to keep both on top, and we're going to say that that's fine, fine enough. And then I will pass the turn. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I want T1 Glistener Stretch. Mox Ruby. Ruby is good. Preordain. Preordain is good. So, Ponder is restricted. Brainstorm is restricted. Obviously, Recall is restricted. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, Preordain is the first good cantrip you get it for. Yeah. Welcome to Vintage. And one day, I, I'm predicting it on camera, one day Preordain will also be restricted. Because eventually they'll get to the point where there are so many good cantrips, they'll have to even restrict Preordain. I am calling it now. If they make another Treasure Cruise or Dig Through Time, they might have to do that. Gee, I wonder what I just drew. It's a Nick Moth Nexus. Yay! All right, and then I will pass the turn. All right. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Sapphire medallion. With one mana left over. <laughs> medallion is good. Uh, pass turn. Okay, so we didn't go Bolera next. Gee, I wonder what I just drew. I will cast a Ponder. Yes. Right. One, two, three. I will actually set these aside for just a moment. Oh. Ooh. Okay. This does not work as I hoped it would. 
It's okay. It's okay. We will pretend that this is fine. All right. I will add this to hand. We'll draw that card. I'll put these two on top. Yes, I know that's not the order that the spell is resolved, but whatever. We're going to fetch. Leave you. We're going to end up fetching in just a moment. I mean, obviously, I play a fetch land after a ponder. It's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. All right. I would like to activate Ink Moth Nexus. Yeah. I would like to go to combat. Mm -hmm. I would like to attack. No blockers, right? No. I would like to go Blazing Shoal, pitching the Ur Dragon. Yep. Are you dead? Yeah. Okay, so I hit you for 11, in fact. Yay! Uh, I hit you for 10, in fact. Yay! Yep. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Woo! And then the other card was a naked force of will, unfortunately. So, uh, that's why I said it was a little awkward there. Sometimes, sometimes, I wonder if I should have a one of Pact of Negation in this deck <laughs> for those combo turns. Alright, game three. You'll be on the play? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Occasionally, in limited and standard, even in modern, I can't remember if we're doing this in Legacy, but even in Modern, I can go on the draw. Mm -hmm. If I'm playing against an 8-rack player, for instance, I will often elect to go on the draw. It gives me an extra card against them, uh, against the deck that's trying to make you discard a bunch. In Vintage, I can't see a reason for that. I want my Moxin. Mm -hmm. I want my Moxin real early. <laughs> and you have Black Lotus, every Moxin, and a Soul Ring, and I haven't seen Soul Ring or Lotus <laughs> yet. What is going on, my friend? Of course, now that I've said that, you have both in your hand. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. This is risky. But I'm on the draw. So let me... And then you can hide your hand for just a moment, please. All right, if you're gonna keep, that is. All right, so this is this is great already. This is awkward to have in the opening hand. These are fine, this means you can play. But then both of these say, no, you can't. But then I have this. But then I have these, but I'm on the draw. But we're gonna YOLO it and, uh, and say we're good. I think it's better than going to six. This is a keepable hand, so I, I will keep. All right. Jet. Jet? Okay. Island. Don't you love vintage? <laughs> Tell me this isn't the greatest thing. <laughs> Sapphire Medallion. Medallion is good. Playing with power. Playing with power. Nexus. Pearl. Emerald. That's all. <laughs> That's all I got. Pass turn. All right, that's all. You're you're totally you're totally seeing a bit today. Okay, so I'm using a lot of metaphors. So one of my metaphors is all right. Humans, the audience, the people who play your game. Ooh, double medallion. Yeah, that's good. It's still a means. It's not an end. I would like to. Activate Ink Moth Nexus. Yes. I would like to go to combat. Yes. I would like to attack. Mm -hmm. No blockers. No blockers. I would like to Blazing Shoal, Pitching Progenitus. Force of Will, Pitching Temporal Manipulation. That leaves you with two cards in hand? Yes. Okay, that's good. Countered. Hello. Not not you. <laughs> oh, God. I will hit you for one. Yes. And uh, we have an easy way to track that. I'm going to turn it this way. I mean, it even goes all the way up to nine. I mean, zero. I mean, yeah. Okay. So, end of turn. Stops being a dude. Pass turn. And the fact that you pitched an extra turn spell makes me think you have at least one more. Okay, so you top decked a land. You didn't shuffle your hand before you played that, so I knew that was your top deck. Hmm. I'm sorry. 
that's, by the way, YouTube, comment section, because I get this all the time. That's one reason why they do that. That's one reason why they shuffle their hands so much. It's so that they can hide what they top decked. They're not doing it to annoy you. They're not doing it to be super ADD. They're doing it to hide that information from their opponent. So, in case that matters, that is one of the reasons why. Time twister. Mmm. You're at one card in hand? Yes. Okay, so that's fair. Yeah, if you're at one and I'm at four, then that's a fair card to play. All right, let's do it. All right, Blazing Shoal, but not Progenitus. Force of Will, but not Manipulation. We're going to get shuffled in. And we'll draw seven each. I wonder if it's appropriate, if it's right to fetch there or not. It's probably not, because you could get a, a brainstorm in your seven, I suppose. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I think you're probably right to, to leave the fetch open. Because if you crack the fetch, you're gonna get it off yeah. the uh, you're gonna get it in the shuffle. But also with two medallions, I don't think you want an extra land anyway. Mm -hmm. I think you're probably fine where you are. We're good. All right, my friends. Another reason they do that shuffle with their hand is just to keep themselves to keep themselves focused. It gives them something to do to keep them engaged, so they don't mentally sort of just take a back seat. All right, no scry on this one. No mulligan on this one. Keep. No, I'm just kidding. Well, geez, you have you have mana open though. Pearl. Pearl is good. Mark Mark Rosewater is explaining a tower defense game. That's awesome. Awesome. Majestic. Awe inspiring. Okay. I don't know why this is my ponder of preference. Spoiler alert, that's in my hand. I, I think I'm probably dead soon anyway, so I think it's okay for me to show that. And by dead, I mean actually dead in 13 turns, but <laughs> not really. <laughs> Alright, my friend. Oh, sorry, am I holding you up with a shuffle? Oh, no, no, you're good. You're good. Okay. Ponder resolves. All right. Yeah, that's a card. All right. So good news. He has no blue mana open after this, and he's played a land. So it means I should have at least one more turn. Should. Should have. Draw. Sapphire Medallion. Oh, okay. Holy crap. He's going to have two mana. T He's going to have all his time walk <laughs> except for actual time walk be two mana. Mm. Yeah, that resolves. Uh, uh, best turn? I think I have exactly one more turn before I'm dead. Exactly one more turn. So, on that happy note, I will play a Polluted Delta. I will activate Ink Moth Nexus. Mm -hmm. I would like to go to combat. Yeah. I will attack. No response? No blockers. I will go Blazing Shoal, Pitching Blasphemous Act. So it's a 9 mana red spell. So even if you weren't already at 1, this is lethal. 1 plus 9 is 10. Blasphemous Act. This is a vintage card. Alright, so Force of Will, Pitching Baral. Hey! Misdirection, pitching ponder, redirect force of will to misdirection. <laughs> How many cards do you have in hand? One? One. <laughs> wow! 
Wow! <sighs> Two force of wills. Mm -hmm. So you should be three force of wills and a fetch after this. Resolves. Force counters misdirection. Um, this force is going to counter the blazing shell. I guess this is a format where technically graveyard order matters, though I don't think exile order matters. Um, it hits you for one. You have one card, so I have... <sighs> okay. Also, this is in the bottom of your graveyard. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. You, you had them separated. You were, it's fine, but whatever. Um, past, uh, end of turn stops being a dude. Mm -hmm. Past turn. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm probably dead. Snapcaster, Ponder, and Time Twister. You were gonna Time Twister here? Mm -hmm. You're, oh yeah, you're at zero cards. That's fair. Yeah, um... Do I want more lands? I do not, I think. Because I can fetch in response. I think we're probably fine. So we're, we're not going to. Okay, Snapcaster, Time Twister resolves. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's exiled. It resolves. Got a force of will in hand, but it was naked. Okay. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. The one mana time twister, by the way. One mana time twister. Welcome to vintage. <laughs> well, then again, most vintage decks aren't running this. Oh, I love that card. Super underrated in Vintage. I know why it's not super played, but dang, it's such a good card. All right. I was supposed to shuffle these in too. Okay, it's okay. We'll just do it. We'll just keep doing it. It's okay. It's a little unintuitive when you have to add the graveyard in too. You play a lot of modern. It's not like Days Undoing sees a lot of play. Time Twister, but also in the turn if it's your turn. Back when I was at a, a game store in Georgia, there was a guy that tried to play Quicken, Days Undoing, and Modern. It was a Pyromancer deck, so you'd get two tokens out of that. And because it wasn't your turn, it didn't end the turn. So you actually got to Time Twister at the end of your opponent's turn. And with Pyromancer, yay, tokens. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was a thing. That was also when Gitaxi and Probe was in, I think, I think that was when Gitaxi and Probe was in Modern. I wouldn't stake my life on it, though. All right, so we're good. You have cut already? Yes. Okay. Well, um, sure. And this was all your turn. Oh. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Black Lotus. Okay, that's that's good. That's a thing. We got our first Black Lotus on game three. Two time twisters in. I'm gonna crack Lotus. Ooh, for I'm assuming blue. blue. Yeah, yeah. With one mana left over after this. Okay, I actually have to look it up. Okay. I just want to make sure this this is one of those I wanted to make sure what the card did. Hmm. Because if the oracle sex text sets oracle sex, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I'm sorry. If the oracle text <laughs> says that it's target player, I might be able to do something about this. If that doesn't give away what's in my hand right now. Okay. Capture Jingzo. It's probably the case I could just look at the judge promo and see. All right, take an extra turn, so I can't affect it with things that affect targets. It's just take an extra turn. 
Congratulations on your extra turn. <laughs> All right, so. I still have uh, one mana floater. You do. You have a blue mana floating. Pretty right. Now that I have an issue with. That I'm going to mental misstep. Right. Combat? Yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It came in this turn. Oh, it did? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. It happens. Long turn. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Alright, then uh, pass to my next turn? Yep, pass to your next turn. <laughs> now we get to. Missed you. Mm hmm. Two. Blip, blip. Alright. Uh oh. Tom Warp. Um. You'll actually need another blue for that. Because its cost is now blue. Oh, blue. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me look up Time Warp. I'm super obviously telegraphing what's in my hand, but at this point, I don't care. It doesn't matter. I don't think this one. Oh, it's Target Player. So. Capture Jingzhou, Jingzhou, no, Jingzhou. <sighs> My friend, I would rather be the person to take this extra turn. Pitch Progenitus. Force Pitch Capture. Mm -hmm. Force Pitch Capture is good. Okay. All right. Yep. Alright, so it's good. Yes, you'll get your extra turn. Or next turn. Yes. Ponder. Ponder is good. I love this game. <laughs> yes, I'm getting by asking it to me. I love this game. The train agrees. <laughs> Tudder. There we go. Combat. Yes. You have me at 14. Go ahead. I will fetch. You have me at 13. I will get an underground C. And similarly to Legacy, you'll want to wait until your upkeep to do your fetching so that you have the most mana possible to compete with cards like Stifle. I'll, I'm not aware of Stifle being a card in Vintage, but it certainly is in Legacy, and I could see a case for it in Vintage, perhaps. Can't Stifle Lotus, though. That's a mana ability. But you can Stifle an Oath for a turn, or Stifle a Grizzle Brand, or I don't know. In any case, I would like to move to my draw step. <laughs> Alright. Jet. Sapphire. Whee! Lots of Moxon. Delta. I would like to go... Uh, first, I would like to activate Ink Moth Nexus in my main base. Mm. I would like to go to combat. Yeah. I would like to swing at you for one. No blocks? Mm. I'll hit you to three. On my second main phase, I would like to play Pearl Jet and play a Plague Stinger. I like to end my turn. It stops being a dude. <laughs> Pass the turn. Okay. It's still a dude, technically. But yeah, if you're not going to deal with it, I'm just going to no, move it down no. here. In the mono blue deck, I think that's a fair assumption, mm -hmm. but like, I guess snap, vapor snack, weird stuff like that. <laughs> Good. That's what I get for looking at the TV while I'm playing. Sorry about that. All right. So my one moxin that's open is sapphire. All right. Pretty. Started making greeting cards. Preordain is good. 
They put them in comic books. It's always tough to deciding whether or not you're going to compete over the means. Ooh, d okay. I like that. Two on the bottom sounds good by me. What do you say? Good. Okay. I would like to fetch. Mm -hmm. On the extreme off chance, by the way, I'm at 12. On the extreme off chance that you have anything to deal with that, I'm going to get my super not vintage island. <laughs> super not vintage. It's a technical magic term at this point. Right. Time Twister is exiled in a format where it's a singleton, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Alright. I would like to draw a card. I would like to cast Prior Day. Mm -hmm. One, two. Bottom. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's. Ooh, that's neat. That's neat. Top, bottom, draw. Mm -hmm. I would like to activate Ink Moth Nexus. By the way, you're gone. Get out of there, buddy. I would like to go to combat. Yes. I would like to swing at you for two. Both are in the Both, air. Both, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. I'm going to put you at five. I would like to cast the card that fell up into my lap. Sorry about that. All right, leave Sapphire open. I would like to cast a Plague Stinger. Force. Hard cast Force. Yep, with three medallions, you can do that. You have one card in hand, right? Yes. I will pass the turn. One card in hand for myself. Okay. If you start chaining time walks from here, I swear to God. <laughs> That's not a mental misstep. Passed. Yep, it resolves. What have, what have we done? <laughs> what has what hath God wrought? In before Snapcaster, Ancestral Recall. Misty Rainforest. Yep. Snap. Oh, okay, okay. If you did exactly that, I would be so mad. No, it's fine. It resolves. Right. Combat. Yes. Two. This was the risk of attacking with both. But in my defense, I forced him to have a counter spell, so mm -hmm. it's okay. I think. Move my next turn. Yes. Right. Yep. Checking the camera real quick. We have enough. We have about an hour left. Brainstorm? Ooh, brainstorm and fetch. Yep, it resolves. I'm going to get the power cord out just in case. Shall put those two back. Okay. No fetch. fetch. Yep, yeah, seems good. It's an early fetch, but you pretty well figure I don't have anything I can do about it. All right. Ooh, what you say? It's like every time you take an extra turn, it gets faster. <laughs> or every time you take an extra turn, we start over with, ooh, what to say? That SNL sketch. Uh, would you like to cut? Oh, you're good. No. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. My bad. Oh, you're fine. Snapcaster. 
There are two great choices here. There's an ancestral recall and a time warp. Time warp. In the in the graveyard. Both seem pretty good here. I will let it resolve. What would Snapcaster like to target? Recall. Yeah, that's that's probably the correct answer. Especially, yes, okay. given that in the top three cards, there's probably another time walk spell for two mana or less. As many times as you've done this, we haven't come across actual factual time walk yet. Tip pearl for the bottom spell. Ooh, I'm probably dead. All right, top resolves. Rest in peace. Time warp. Target myself. Time warp. Yep. I, I will take two. You have me at eight. All right, move to my next turn. Yep. Oh, whoa, 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 Yeah. Let me help my opponent out real quick. <laughs> and you use the jet normally, but whatever. Just so that you can represent blue mana. Spell Pierce and Fluster Storm and stuff like that. Hmm. Now I'll move to my next turn. Okay. Yeah, given what I've seen so far, I'm not expecting Demonic Consultation, Vampiric Tutor, Imperial Seal. I'm not expecting stuff like that. Imperial Seal Sorcery Speed, but in any case. Okay. Move to combat? Yes. Four. You have me at four. Show me one more extra turn spell and I will concede. Good games. Good games, man. Woo! Wow! Island, Emerald, and, uh, and, and Temporal Manipulation, yeah. right? Yeah, and the card I was holding this whole time was the uh, Force. Ooh, the two mana Force. Jeez, dude. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was good. Okay. Welcome to Vintage. Do you like this format now? A lot. Yes. <laughs> You can borrow this deck anytime I'm over, man. Anytime.